Good morning everyone uh, autumn has started the leaves of the trees are starting to get some color I, it starts to get really cold in the morning I think I I dress too lightly for <laughs> this morning I'm a little bit cold I don't have my hot tea with me but it's it, it's gonna be a beautiful morning there are no clouds in the sky which is good for this situation for today because I'm just waiting for the light to hit a part of the forest and I'm here photographing a lake as you can see behind me and this is the lake that I'm going to photograph and that over there is uh, my framing the, the thing that I want to photograph now there are pine trees as you can see we are at about a thousand meters uh, altitude so there are also pine trees uh, but the, the beautiful thing is that through those pine trees there are also trees that have their leaves yellow, yellow, brown, reddish and once the light hits uh, those trees those leaves are gonna pop up really well so for the moment I'm gonna just take some test shots because I want to be prepared with the composition and then when the light hits uh, it's it's time to to take the actual photo i'm starting to see some fog uh, on the surface of the lake it's because of the warmth of the sun so if i'm lucky and the sun gets enough fog uh, in the air it's going to be beautiful but who knows what is going to happen beside this main shot that i'm going to do once the sun hits the uh, pine trees uh, right behind me as you can see over here there are some colored uh, trees that have uh, the leaves yellow and brownish yellow so this is one of the situations that you don't have to miss it's a moment when you get uh, the beautiful color of the trees reflected in the water you have also the contrast because the other pine trees are dark green so it's a good moment to take a photo like this also you can break the rule of thirds uh, by having the, um, the shoreline the edge of the water right in the middle of the frame it's one of those shots when it can work so you can do also uh, this type of shot beside that one which will look I think uh, really good in about 10 minutes or so I changed position because there is a beautiful fog right there in the distance on the surface of the lake and this is a very beautiful moment again another beautiful moment I also have some uh, two dogs I also have two dogs with me over here and then the third one is joining fast <laughs> it's running um, so let's do the the fog on the surface of the lake So here are my companions, number one, number two, and number three. Looks like I'm surrounded. <laughs> I think at a, I guess at a certain point, you kind of get used to this. It's no fun when they just show up near you, but uh, these dogs are peaceful. <laughs> they mean no harm. <laughs> Lucky for me. At this moment. I feel a little bit like a fool you can see behind me the light it's up there so <laughs> I've I miscalculated the the rising of the Sun during during the months of summer and up until September when the Sun rises it's, it, it hits those trees but now in the middle of, of October the Sun is blocked by that hill behind me so there will be no light on those pine trees it's a tough lesson to learn and it seems that after so many years of doing landscape photography uh, and coming here this is only 60 kilometers from me so i'm coming here 
um, and for, for photographing a lot so after all this time I think these kind of things happen it's it's not a necessarily a bad thing it forces me to um, to photograph in another direction but this reminds me of a of a really good advice that I heard from Michael Kenna and I'm also passing this advice not only to you but to everything that everyone that, but to everyone that I know and that is not to have preconceived ideas or not to at least not to base your entire uh, photography uh, session on that uh, it, this is exactly the case for this I mean I I hoped for something that did not happen I don't know maybe maybe it will happen eventually maybe the Sun will rise and will hit that but maybe it's gonna to be too strong so I needed to to go and explore other possibilities it's a fail because I didn't manage to get that shot exactly how I wanted but it's not a fail in terms of photography I think this is the way we learn the most valuable lessons the hard way you drive for 60 kilometers you get to a place there is it's not happening what you were hoping to happen but still you're getting some nice photos because you are forced to do so you can't go back home and say okay didn't happen so I just abandon everything I can't I can't wish you not to make any mistake because mistakes will happen but I can wish you to overcome them and learn from them so Maybe share, maybe share your biggest mistakes and biggest fails in comments below. Bye bye.